Enjoys the Snapaholics with Shane from Boyzone. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's soapbox. Go Shane, go Shane. Oh, the hands in the air. It's a powerful start, Harry. Here come the Snapaholics. Zooming to the finish line. This year's wacky racers buckle up for a bumpy ride. Dodging hay bales, weaving obstacles and scrambling over cobbles. They all aim to clock up the fastest time. It's not only the soapboxes that had to keep it together. The drivers also had to hold their nerve. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, when we went down the ramp, it was just so thrilling. Um, quite scary, <laughs> um, but very, very good. And there's such a nice atmosphere, lots of lovely people, all really fascinated, interesting, everyone. So it's a really nice day. But about this race? So the race that we've um, I've got today um, is in support of 250 The Terries. Um, so that's a local um, chocolate company that was in New York. And it's coming up to its 250th year. So um, at the exhibition, um, at the attraction, we do have a um, full exhibition on 250 years of Terries. So we thought it would be quite nice to um, decorate and represent that um, with our car and our vehicle. Yeah, we had a competition in the school. So all the children got to do a design and make a model and uh, bring it in. Uh, and then we had a look at them and chose a winner. And there were five children that had done tortoise and hare designs, so which we really liked the idea of the tortoise and then the hares chasing. Uh, so we picked theirs and set about making their, their design. But one of the children, Jasmine, had uh, chosen a rainbow pooping tortoise. Um, so she, that's what she'd drawn. So we tried to uh, think of a way to make it rainbow pooping as well. But they weren't just doing it for the thrill of the race. For many, there was a deeper cause. We're representing York's Chocolate Story, but we're actually raising money for Make-A-Wish, um, which is a really nice charity, um, supports lots of young children um, in order to make their wishes come true, so it's a really nice charity to support, really. But I hope we've currently reached our target. We um, tried to raise about £500, we've currently beaten that, and we're currently still taking in as much as we can in order to try and raise as much as we can. We do have, um, at the attraction as well, lots of um, things still going on to, in order to help support uh, Make-A-Wish as well. I just had a good time, really, and uh, it was a bit of fun. Uh, the kids have all enjoyed it, and it's, uh, it's not exactly the most aerodynamic of, uh, of machines, but it, we built it to, to follow the, the, the thing that we thought would be most fun for uh, the kids. And so far, it's been great. The, the, the kids have enjoyed sitting in the moving ahead and having a ride, so that's, that's all been great. It's been a, it's a really nice day. It's a good fun day. Thousands of people lined the streets to catch a glimpse of some familiar faces. They're that fast, aren't they? But it's, there's some really good ones, there's some really ingenious ones. But yeah, but um, I don't know, that one that just crashed there, that was good. <laughs> I didn't see what it was, but that's the Noddy car. <laughs> we like the Noddy. It reminds us of our childhood, Noddy. <laughs> I like the cars when they come down the big ramp. Favourite car is so far is the monkey one because I like monkeys a lot. Oh well there are a lot of really good cars here and uh, we like the one from York Mays but I'm perhaps supporting the St Nick's one and, and it's based on a bicycle so it's going to be interesting to see how with three wheels how that survives the ramp when it hits the bottom of that ramp. Well we've got friends here from the York Mays and they've got a pretty scary go-kart there that they're going to be taking down so we hope they do well. We, yeah, we hope they're going to win. Smash it. Well, not smash the go karts <laughs> The races ran throughout the day, but with fun, food and festivities flowing, it was a good day for all. We stumbled across this last year by accident and um, we thought we were going to come back and bring the kids out. The weather was all right, so we decided to come across and see who it was about. And it's absolutely packed. <laughs> I love this event and we came last year and set it off last year and it was such a great day. Um, some friends of mine have come over from Manchester to see it this, this year. Uh, I think it's a wonderful event and congratulations to all the Mickle Great traders and to Walter Horn for doing it. Everything is so fantastic, it's a great opportunity to local businesses, local people coming out seeing this event. It's a fantastic event and uh, I think the, the car I liked most was the uh, Second, uh, First World War plane, it's like you know a model of a plane, there are all sorts of different types of models. It's been quite exciting seeing some of the spills as well. It's brilliant, um, I believe it was quite quiet last year, we didn't come, but there's a lot more going on and it seems really busy. It's Weather good helps. for York, definitely, it's brilliant for yeah. York. The digital image team were the fastest racers, setting the record at 29.99 seconds. With the event hoping to return next year, do you reckon you could take the title? Abby Walker, That's TV.